Five, four, three, two, one. To white muslims. Go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name's Junaid Rahim and my name's Muhammad Yusuf Bashforth and affectionately we're known as the two white muslims. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <coughs> Sorry I'm choking. <laughs> Oh, I'm good. joking. Was, was it something I said? <laughs> Did you say you choking or joking? <laughs> <laughs> As you, you choking. Bit of a joke to me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, at least I oh, find it funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's that purple face that you get. It's that purple face. Oh, nowhere. I, I seem to be struggling. Oh, look, look, he's all excited. <laughs> he's got a purple face, a bit like mine. <laughs> In summer. <laughs> <laughs> he's going red. You, you he doesn't appear to be breathing. Bit, I wonder if there's anything wrong. Bizarre thing is, you get yours in winter <laughs> it's true like it, man, it's so... what did somebody say yesterday no, no, no. i think there's a little bit of mediterranean in you I thought, Ooh, oh steady on now bless uh... you bless you <laughs> well i mean we've all got some of that haven't we well exactly let's face it none of us are purebred are we it's uh, it, exactly i remember when <laughs> when we were at the um uh we went to the uh, the, the, the penny appeal did the thing in the park, in Thorns yep. Park. Yep. And we went we went along and, and it was big charity, celebration, yep. fair, gala. Gala, yep. that's the word I was hopelessly grasping for. Uh, did a, a gala, uh, an, an Islamic uh, gala that yep. everybody could come and enjoy. It was absolutely brilliant, it was fantastic. Yep. And some of our, uh, some of the police that we worked with were there. They were, they had their own stall. They had their own stall. And a police van. Yeah. They and looked, some handcuffs. Yes, the police van and handcuffs, <laughs> you know they enjoy. But did, didn't they look happy on that stall? Oh, bless them. <laughs> Are you having a good day, lads? Yes. Yes. Would you like to inform your face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you're here to have some fun. Yeah. And I know that's not normally your job description. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Come on. Oh, it's dear. a fate. No, no, no. I don't mean a fight. Yeah. It's a yeah. fate. It's not a fate worse than death. It's a fate. <laughs> um, we, we had to, we're talking to the, the other really big lad. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, and, uh, we're talking to that really big lad, that really tall guy. Oh, yeah, him. Uh, yeah. And uh, he was just talking about they were doing, was it anti radicalization yep. type training? That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right, that's yeah. right. Uh, <clears throat> and it tends to be. I'm trying to think of his name now. I know, I me too, me too. Struggling for his name. But it tends to be, well, he works in, in, in schools and plays that with relatively young guys. Yep. Uh, he said, unfortunately, there's an awful lot of. Um, uh, mentally challenged people who who are yep. find themselves radicalised because yeah, yeah. they're looking for something, and, and so he's there to protect these That's guys, right. and also you know uh, impressionable youngsters. Yes. Um, but uh, the, the, the funniest thing he said when he said, right, well, you know, we have a conversation with them and we just explore their points of view because yep. what tends to happen is they're simply repeating what they've heard. But they, they, there's no substance to it. They don't really know what they're saying. They, they can't. They can't uh, intellectualise it. Yeah, can absolutely, they? absolutely. Yeah. So they just have a conversation. Blah blah blah. It says, and, and then uh, you know, uh, what we also do is this. What we also do is this. And then what we do is the DNA test. And we're oh, like, is this, is this the the far right? Uh, yes. A radical. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, oh, who, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Yeah. Right. Okay. I got you. So got this you, is yeah, this is racist because people. They're, they're actually more prevalent. Oh, yeah. Than any other kind of. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, it's it's yeah. something like five percent uh, Muslims, seven yeah. percent Jewish. Yeah. Uh, and then you know. And then the rest. Eighty-three yeah. percent far right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. People don't yeah. realise that that's the case. Yeah. So so they 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 are the ones that uh, say uh, immigration should be stopped. Yeah. Send them all out. We don't want to get, get rid of them all. Yeah. No Get mixing, no mixing, no mixing. Can I have a kebab? No mixing, no, no, no mixing. mixing. Taxi! Taxi. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. I know, it is. It's I know, true. I know it's these true. people. No idea. Oh my goodness. So no, yes, it's no, a far no, right. No mixing. No mix. I broke my leg. Where am I yeah. going? Hospital. Oh, hospital. Who's, who's going to attend to me? <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 Nadim. Hello, hello. My, my name's Mohammed. Yes. I'm, your, I'm your attending 
A and E consultants. You'd have a tennis physician. No, no, go home. Yeah. <laughs> fix my leg first. Fix, fix my leg, leg first. first. <laughs> you can be kind enough. On your way out. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't let that door hit you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, these oh, people! So it's the far right. It's the far right guys. Country, they have no idea what would happen to this country if what they wanted to happen I know, actually happened. I know, I know. It would be a monumental oh, disaster. Can you imagine? Uh, but the thing that made me laugh, the and thing they that just don't think this. I know, but, that's that, but that's the point. So he has these conversations. With yeah, him. yeah. He has these <laughs> conversations, um, and uh, I must come back to uh, Craig and Roger a little bit later. Okay. Okay. Craig and Roger. Okay, Craig and Roger. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's the far right guys, the racist guys, and they have a conversation just to explore these things. Well, yeah. when you say send them where, because they were born here, but you know, yeah. oh yeah, never thought about home? that. Where yeah. is home? Yeah. What do we mean? You know, uh, and all, so it's just it's exploring and getting them to think about the words that they're saying, and they go, oh, that's interesting. And so the next step is X, and then, then the step of that is Y, and it's all da 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 and, the, and the, 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 there's, a, there's a flow and a it's routine. A process, and a, process, a process, There's yeah. a process. It says, and then the last thing we do is a DNA test. Oh, brilliant. And, he said, and, 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 and it's just the way he said, he said, yeah, so we, so we said, come on then, sit down, Johnny, let's have a little look. Oh, you've got, you've got a little bit of Norway in you, a little bit of Norwegian. Oh, look at that, some Eastern European. Oh, oh, look at that, we're all African. <laughs> yeah, we've got 74% African. <laughs> And the DNA test proved it. Oh, it's fantastic. It proved it, but it's just the way it went. Oh, look, you've got a little bit of Norwegian. Oh, a little bit of Scandinavian. Oh, look at that with Central of the Africa. Fantastic. Because principally we are. I know. If you think, I mean, I know. And, and, you know, if you bring it down look, to... Hang on a minute. We all come from the same that's two what people. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, Spanana. that's what I'm trying to say. And if, if, if the label that's applied to that is African, that's, yeah. that, that's, that's where it, it starts. Yeah, yeah. You know, how, it yeah. might go back before that. I yeah. don't know. Uh, but fundamentally, we all came from the same two people on the same island of the same yeah. continent of yeah. the same... Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I overstretched myself there. Yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> They're not much bigger than the continent. You can't really get much... Of the same world... Oh, no, I don't count. <laughs> same planet. Um, same planet. Oh, dear. Uh, it's just the way... Me. I'm not. Yeah, just the way... <laughs> oh, you've got a little bit of Norway, just a little Scandinavian. Oh, look at that, you're African. <laughs> oh, alhamdulillah, these people are these just... Far right so, Craig and Roger. Craig and Roger. Uh, my dad used to uh, um, work with the with the, with the he, he, as, he, as, he, as he used to say. He says, "Oh, he says I went to church and then I got because he was a policeman." He said, "Oh, you must come and work with the scouts." And before you knew it, it was really the, the yeah, oh, scout you know, group. Yeah, this going back forty odd years, and there was uh, uh, I mean I'll not give any surnames, but there was Craig and Roger, mm -hmm. and they were absolute best of friends. Yep. Uh, inseparable. They were mm -hmm. all, Craig and Roger, Craig, Kruger, you know, they were yep. always together, always together, and Craig. As white as you come, and there's no other way of saying it, uh, Roger, well, we're still say a boy, a boy of colour. Great. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. And one of the nicest people in the world. So, as was Craig. Of course he was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No reason why he wouldn't be. And even me saying, oh, and he was really nice, is racist. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, it's yeah, suggesting yeah. that. They, anyway, <clears throat> so there's Craig, inseparable. One black lad, one white lad. Great. Inseparable. Absolutely inseparable. And then Craig, because of, you know, uh, influences, shall we say, elsewhere, Turn up at Scouts one time saying, Yeah, they should send them all home. <laughs> just send them, oh, and this no, is back in the 70s, no, you've got to think. No, oh, they'll no, send them no. all home. Oh. I just went off on a run. Oh, he'd probably been watching the, the latest sitcom on an evening well, actually, in the 70s. Probably, to be fair. Uh, oh, send them all, send them all Can you imagine them broadcasting that now? Oh. <laughs> thing was, is that, send them all home, send them all home, yeah, 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 all this, you know, really yeah, yeah, evil yeah. right wing rhetoric yeah. from the 70s, which we can possibly remember people, you know, vocalised. I can remember that. And my dad lets him go and lets him go and lets him go and lets him go and then went, what about Roger? You know, what about Roger? What about Roger? What about Roger? And he's, he's black. And Craig's like, ah, is he? Yeah. Because he'd never seen it. He, he, he just didn't see colour. No. He did not. He, because it, children don't. Because they don't. So he's literally saying, what do you mean? And he's looking at my dad like, my dad's stupid. Yeah. What do you mean, what about Roger? As yeah. if to say to my dad, you racist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So we all grow up with this attitude and mentality of, you know, love the world, love thy neighbour, apart from gingers, sorry. No, you know what I mean? no, no, there, there are exceptions. There are exceptions. Quite rightly there so. There are exceptions, and rightly Freaks. so. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> splitter. Um, and just, yeah, amazing, amazing. So I, I don't know how we got onto that. I don't know how I got to that. That's not on my list. That's why so many gingers are Muslim. 
Well, yes, yes, because they've earned it. It's a penance. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they've served the penance. penance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They've served yes. the penance. Yeah. And um, this is Allah saying, uh, right, I've promised you enough, lad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up, <laughs> copper top. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> copper top. <laughs> hey, up, Jurassel, come here, love. Oh, stop it now. Oh, dear. I am like Jurassel. I'm sure you didn't hear them enough. No. As you were Lasts up to six times longer. <laughs> uh, that's not a breakfast either. It's a breakfast show. <laughs> have we got a list today? Uh, we have got a list. We have got a list. We have yep. got a list. Shall we? Uh... We've got a list. Uh, let's have a look. We've got. Uh, we are going to consider. Yep. We are going to consider sexy sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll I know. Look to that. I know. Sexy sandwiches. A <laughs> Scottish comedian. Okay. Has uh, gone viral. Has gone viral. We're going to explore that. Good. We're going to explore that. Uh, we're going to be very careful while we explore that because of what she said. But it's the message that comes across. It's brilliant. It's yep. absolute genius. Um, nature gets its own back. Oh, this is a goodie. This is an absolute goodie. Oh, Na bless nature. you. Nature. Nature gets its nature. own back. Mother Nature. I've heard somebody saying we're, we're, we're being punished by Mother Nature, yeah? Hmm. Mothers never punish. No, 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 no. Na mothers never punish. Yeah, this is not Mother Nature, this is nature. This is nature. Yes, yeah, yeah. this yeah. is nature. But and mother it's mothers phenomenal. don't punish. No, nope, absolutely yeah. not. They just tell you how it is. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And then we're gonna look at the best ride ever. The okay. best ride ever. You... Again, this is a family show. <laughs> you... <laughs> you would love this. I, I'm sure I would. The guy that went to it didn't. I don't think I'd... I, I, I probably would have... You would love it. You'll be like, oh, I want to go! Yeah. I promise you. I promise yeah. you. And then... I, I just was wanna... talking to my good lady this morning. Oh, She yes. was talking about a cruise. Th thinking of going on a cruise, because a friend of hers at work is, has just booked one. Right. For, for 2020. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But for the, the Norwegian fjords. Oh wow! I really want to do. That. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. And I said, that's that's twenty twenty. That you know, we've got a couple of years off yeah. that. So what we're going to do in between times? Because I still, and while I've got while I've got lungs, fitness, airy lungs, lungs, yeah, lungs and fitness, and, yeah. I, and I'm and I'm able to do this. Yes. I still want to swim with sharks. Ah. Always wanted to do that. And do you know what? Over the next twelve months. Inshallah, I'm going to swim with sharks. Inshallah. Let's mm. be honest, in some of our business dealings, you have. I've, I've, <laughs> not, I've not just swum with them. Yeah. I've just... We're dolphins amongst some real sharks. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, I want to look at reuniting <laughs> some medals. This is a really, really lovely, lovely story. So I just mm -hmm. want to explore it, whether, whether it would be possible to reunite some medals. I uh, want to consider some new methods of transport. There's some new transportation out there which looks incredibly exciting. Good. And mm. uh, there's a new study about green vegetables. About green vegetables. Mm, but right. One of which possibly saying that they're, they're, they're green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's a study about green vegetables which we're going to explore. <clears throat> which we are going to explore. Vegetables are green. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, should we take one off the list? Um, uh, yeah, uh, we shall. Um, but before we do that, yep. I think uh, we should do some of this. Asalaamu Alaikum. Warahmatullahi. We're about a car too. That was that was a bit odd. I was going to say that nearly caught you out, didn't it? Dear me. We don't do it that way round. I'm not used to you st you st talking first. <laughs> that, that's not how it works. Well, can because... we start that again? <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum. Warahmatullahi. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got to say, I've got to say, um, I've... <coughs> oh, bless. Are you okay there, love? Are you okay? Alhamdulillah. Uh, I've got to say, as I, I forgot, as I was coming across to pick you up this morning, yep. uh, there was an advert on the car. Okay. There was an advert, and it, it absolutely tickled me. Okay, it what was it? It absolutely tickled me. You know, I love the Google Home. Oh, your gadget. That, that gadget. That's your friend. I absolutely Except love it. It's the only person that talks it's to you. It's the only person that talks to you. It's company. It's <laughs> suddenly happy birthday. Yeah. 
Oh, what day is it today? Fun. It's your birthday. Would you like me to sing happy birthday? Yes, yes. I would. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And so for people that don't know what we're talking about, it's like you've got your Alexa and your other one and Google Home. Yeah, and yeah. you say, and I'm sorry, everybody out there, this is going to set your phones off. And it's going to, if you've got one, it's going to set it off. But you say, hey, Google, or OK, Google, and then ask it a question, do whatever, and it does it. It sorts it. And off it goes. Yep. Brilliant. Yeah, and I love it. And the thing I love about it is it's 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 amazing. It's the the quality of it. You know what I mean? Because you remember voice recognition software yeah, when yeah, we yeah, were yeah, when yeah. we were when we were young when we were kids were terrible. <laughs> it was awful. Terrible. Well, they've had voice recognition software in cars for quite a long time. I mean, voice recognition software in those days used to work. Yes. If you spoke like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And by the way, you know, I, and, I, and I know we shouldn't talk about people who, who've passed. No. Nope. Uh, and we, we shouldn't, but I, I'm going to. He was a little bit up his own, you know what I mean? Born in England, had an American accent. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So, oh my, my, goodness. my Google Home. Uh, Incredible mind that man has. Oh, amazing. Uh, genuinely. Have you seen the film? Yeah. And you, I you, 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 you start uncovering yeah. how you uncover, and you think, ah, oh, that is utter genius. Yeah. And then the, it, it's so simple, but then you see the calculations behind it, and it's like, yeah. whoa. So, he had the ability, the amazing ability, to take the inordinately complex that he understands yep. and says it in a way I can understand. Yes. That is genius. Absolutely. That is absolute yep. and utter pure yep. genius. <clears throat> it's amazing. The guy amazing. was absolutely astounding. Amazing. So that was just a joke. It was a little bit of humour. I'm sure he would have laughed as well. I'm sure he would. In an American accent. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but if we consider, uh, so I was driving this morning and they're, they're talking about voice recognition. Uh, sorry, it, it, was, it was an advert <clears throat> and it was for the Mercedes A-Class. Okay. Now, you know, I never used to be a fan of the Mercedes A-Class. Never used to be a fan. Uh, but the, uh, personally, you know okay. what I mean? even though we had one. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's not the car that I would choose personally. No. Uh, having seen the advert on television for the A-Class, I'm like, Wow! The interior, that's like a spaceship. Is it that good? They have gone absolutely, absolutely to town. It yep. is amazing. Well, I was driving across to you this morning, and there's an advert for it on the radio. Okay. And I only caught the last half of the advert because it made me giggle. Um, but it said, uh, as far as I can understand, they've got the equivalent of Google Home in the car. All right. So in the past, to use the voice recognition, you had to press a button, yep. and then you had to do certain commands yep. and it, if it wasn't spot on so you would say like turn on radio uh, play bbc radio 2 yeah, and yeah. if you didn't do it right it would say i am now directing you to no no that's no, not no, what no. i said <clears throat> really frustrating yeah now apparently i am now immobilizing the engine <laughs> no 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 i'm, I'm doing <laughs> yeah. 70 on the m1 absolutely, absolutely yeah <laughs> please don't immobilize yeah. oh the bonnet is now open no <laughs> um and uh, terrible where now apparently in true google Your boot fashion is now open yeah, you see it, all your paperwork just like <laughs> yeah it's all fluttering <laughs> out it looks like a what you know in, in america the, the Picture parades, yeah. all the paper coming down. <laughs> um, so you know, apparently you say, "Hey Mercedes," and then you you you, you, you know turn on the radio, and it turns on the radio. Oh, fantastic. Hey Mercedes, can I listen to Radio Two? And it'll put Radio. How old am I? Radio Two. Hey, get, listen to Capital, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it does it. Brilliant. <clears throat> and then in the advert, the woman says, "Hey Mercedes, tell me a joke." Right. Yeah. So you say to me, "Hey Mercedes, tell me a joke." Hey Mercedes. Tell me a joke. I'm afraid I was built by Germans. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So that absolutely has no humour. That abs and therefore I have no humour. That absolutely oh, tickled fantastic. me. Fantastic. To the point where <clears throat> I was, I was I literally my shoulders were. I think, oh, it's brilliant. That's just an advert on the way in. Uh, excellent. Do you know what so, tickles me? Do you know what worries me about that? Go on. The fact that you have to say, hey Mercedes. <laughs> I mean, it, in what walk of life would you 
Good to those words. <laughs> well, absolutely. I'll, I'll have to be careful where I'm going I'm with this one. I, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm you're doing. Be very, very careful. Go on. But, uh, You've got that look on your face that says... <laughs> Because we don't edit this, this is like, go on then, go on, go on. <laughs> Can I, dare I do this bit? I think, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, hey, go Mr. on. If you say the words, hey Mercedes, yeah. it's like you're talking to a young lady. And you'd expect her to be dancing at that point. <laughs> <laughs> lady and she's named after a car that the only circumstances you'd be doing that is if she's dancing <laughs> hello Porsche hello Porsche <laughs> <laughs> Porsche oh, please Mercedes no. please no oh, hey, up. hey up Ford be gentle <laughs> <laughs> if you're Ford. talking to a guy named after a car, he's selling you drugs. He's selling you drugs. Hey, up, Bentley. Oh. oh, was it that teenage mum or something named a kid mm. Bentley? You're like, hey, oh, Chevy. come on. Hey, up, <laughs> Chevy. Chevy. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, so it made me giggle. Uh, it made me giggle. It made God me giggle. Me, it that's absolutely fantastic. made me laugh out loud. Savannah, Speaking Lange. of which, speaking of which, the next thing on my list. Do you know what I think? I think we should actually start editing the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should. Do you know, have you got a time machine? <clears throat> Can you edit a live show? Have, you, sure. have you got a time machine? Oh, my goodness. Savannah, oh, Lange. my goodness. But the next thing on the oh. list was about a Scottish comedian. Okay. So, I'll, I'll so sound of this already. Yeah, so from jokes to jokes. Oh, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Brilliant. And it's this Scottish comedian, and it says, uh, 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 let me have a look, let me get into this. Sorry, I do, uh, oh God, it's going a little bit slow. It's like me today. It's yep. like me today. Come on, come on, phone. Come on, phone. It says loading page, it's lying to me. It's lying Loading to me. page, yeah. does it? It's lying to me. Let me go off that and see if I can do it on the other one. Uh, nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, but her name was Anna Salim, first Anna of all. Anna Salim. So uh, that to me, uh, and if you look at a picture, would you think perhaps maybe Muslim, do you think? I would guess so. Uh, or certainly of a, you know, a certain yes, uh, part so. of the world. Um, do you know what? Do you know what? My missus works as a lecturer. She does? And she lectures at different levels. Yes. To, 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 to different levels of people, uh, to, to Capabilities. students at yes. different uh, t stages of yeah. their, their educational yeah, uh, their development. academic life. Yes. <clears throat> she also lectures some level ones. Right. Okay. Now, how do I describe is a level, level one? Is level one the best of the world? I'm guessing it's the lowest, not, it, yes. Level one is the starter. Okay. Yeah. Starter level. Foundation level. Foundation <laughs> level. That's the one. Foundation. <clears throat> so, um, yesterday, bearing in mind she's a hijabi, yes. my missus, yes. never, never goes out without a hijab, yes. she was asked the question, uh, because the, two, two of her, her class, her foundation class, were, were speaking, and one of them shouted something in Urdu. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And then the other one looked up, and looked up at my missus, and yeah. said, uh, Miss, did you understand that? And she just looked at them, didn't say a word, didn't say a word. Mm -hmm. And they kind of muttered to each other, no, she didn't understand, she didn't understand. Miss, are you Muslim? Bearing in mind she wears a hijab. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a bit of a giveaway. No, my ears are cold. Bit of a give. Yeah, my head was cold. This time, so I put this on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, how come you wore it in summer as well? Yeah. yeah yes, it's a bit yes, of a giveaway. Yes. Are you Muslim, miss? Yes, I am. So did you understand that then? Right. Did you understand that then? Yeah, because you look Arab, they said. Oh, In okay. other words, are you Muslim because you look Arab? In right. other words, you can't be a Muslim if you are Arab. You can't be Muslim unless you understood the understood Urdu, Urdu. Yeah. spoke. Unless you are A, Pakistani, and B, uh, Urdu-speaking Pakistani, yeah. I can't associate, I can't you, associate with you as Muslim. Yeah, because of what you're trying to buy. It's crazy. It is, it is. These, crazy. Are these, pe people, yeah. these people need to A, get out more, yep. B, 
read more. Yes. C, get more friends. Yes. D, get a Me, life. Get yeah, a yeah. Life. I mean, where did our name come from? Two white Muslims. <laughs> yes. Because wherever we Them. go, wherever we go. No, I mean, it's lovely. In the and nicest we love it. In the way. nicest we possible way. We absolutely do. Wherever we go, we get the. We've got Janaid and Yusuf in. Who? Yeah, Janaid and Yusuf. Who? Janaid and Yusuf! Who? You know, the, the two white Muslims. Oh, them! Oh, those two! <laughs> yeah, 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 get that. <laughs> you know what I mean? SubhanAllah. Um, but that's it's amazing how the association is. Well, if you. you, you, you if you if, if, you can if, only be Muslim uh, if you speak Urdu. You you can only be Muslim if you're brown. Yes. That, yeah. That's that's the overarching yep. overarching mentality yep. here. That's the overarching yep. sentiment. That well, comes I remember we used to run the dance, which the is kids. crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that and, question. And we're pretty much as white as the, as you can get. Yep. Um, and we stood up in front of the kids and said, "So, uh, how would you recognise a Muslim?" No, no. What is a oh, Muslim? Oh, that's right. What is what a Muslim? What is a Muslim? What is a Muslim? And what do one of the little kids blank say? faces? Blank faces. What is a Muslim? Yeah. Somebody with brown skin. Yeah. And all the all the mums at the back burst out laughing. Yeah. You know what and, I mean? and me and you said, "Well, that counts us out." Yeah. Then. That's it. We're <laughs> off. Um, but again, it's the not. It's just not seeing it, not recognising oh, it. Oh, crazy. And, and, even my kids growing up, and yeah. even now, will look at somebody in a certain dress with a certain How skin colour and say, ago? oh, it's 10 years, is it? 10 years. Because I look but at that kid now, even my kids will man. look and say, young... oh, look, Dad, there's a Muslim. He's a young man. He'll be a young okay. man now. Oh, my yeah, God. And he's young such man. a lovely guy. Yeah. He's such a brilliant family. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Brilliant it's just, it's funny. It's funny. It's so funny what he said that day. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, but yes, let's see if, it, if it's loaded up now. Uh, Scottish comedian. So first of all, I, 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 it made me giggle because um, uh, to me, I would suggest, you know, uh, well, her, her surname is Salim. Yeah. And uh, that's a picture of her. Yes. That would suggest maybe Muslim, but certainly, yes. you know, uh, uh, at some point, new to Scotland, yes. shall we say. Like my good lady. Yes. Uh, and so this made me laugh on so many levels because she was in America. Yep. And her act is, or part of her act is, right, I'm going to give you some Scottish words in a Scottish accent. Yep. See if you recognise them. Do you okay. know what I mean? And it lists some of that, and one of them was murder. Yeah. And you know, it is. It is. If, if we ever have a power cut, or we're in an airport lounge and we need some entertainment, I just get my wife to say stuff like that <laughs> because that accent out of that face, it's brilliant. God say, God, just say there's been a murder. There's been a murder. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. What are they, what are, what do they make I am brew out of? Gunners. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she said, you know, see if you recognise these, see if you recognise these. And uh, that was her act. So um, uh, the comic explained she was telling the audience about Scottish things. Uh, Amma said on social media that she had spoken about things like drik. Do you know what drik is? No. Nope. It's, it's a kind of rain that... Uh, it's a bit like, you know, when, uh, oh, what do you call him? Uh, Peter Kay. Peter Kay was talking about yep. rain. That rain yeah. that gets you wet. That rain yep. that gets you wet. That, that rain that gets you wet. It's that. It's dreek. It's almost like a mist. Yeah. It's almost like a mist that, that, that absolutely drenches you. Yeah. And you're only with that dreek. That dreek. Uh, so she got all these words. One of which was dreek. Uh, Bob, I don't know what that is. In fact, I, might, I shouldn't say some of these. I don't know what it is. Okay. That's not, so I don't know what that one is. Uh, murder. Yeah. And she lists all these things off and everybody's laughing. Everybody's laughing. And then she said... Free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> it's to an American audience. You oh, see? Yeah, 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 to an yeah, American yeah. audience. And they're like, oh, uh, laughed. She then said, and, and I'm not <laughs> even going to tell you the letter it begins with, she dropped a hmm bomb and said a word that you just do not say in polite okay. company. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And of course, the whole place went, <gasps> but the gag was, she then said, oh, uh, I'll be honest with you, um, I, I think you're a little bit surprised at the wrong word. So what she's done, she's gone, murder, drink, this, uh, free health care. And they've gone, Hoo! and then she's dropped this word. They've gone, Hoo! she goes, well, you, you seem surprised at the wrong word there. Yeah. You should be surprised at the fact that we have free health care and you don't. Yeah. And you're, yep. and that's the whole. Yeah, yeah. And you think, what a brilliant yeah, way yeah, brilliant. of introducing. Yeah. So you're shocked by that word, but free healthcare, you think it's funny. Yeah. Brilliant, utter genius. Yeah. 
love the game. Utter genius. Yeah. And it just makes you think. Free healthcare. How lucky are we in this I've known this, I've known this uh, all my life. Yeah, the people that we we oh, work alongside, the oh people that we socialise with, the yes. people that, that form our Who friendships. dedicate circle. their lives dedicate to helping people absolutely. and saving absolutely. lives. Absolutely. Yes. Amazing. You know, I, know, I know people that literally work seven days a week. Yes. And literally sleep very, very little. Yes. You know, sleep five or six hours and then they're just back in there. Yes. Yeah. I, I know somebody who introduces his wife as his, his second wife. The first one is his job oh, because he spends wow. more time with his job than yeah. he does with his wife. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, th these people are committed, dedicated, caring, professional, wow. uh, superb people yeah. that do an incredible job. Yes. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, in this country, that are managed by idiots. Uh, well, yes. Now, yes. If, if you are a health service manager, <laughs> I mean you. Yes, I'm talking about you. Idiots. Oh. Because these people have no concept yeah. whatsoever about what takes place at the coal face of medicine. Yes. At the coal face yeah. of, uh, of the, 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 the service provision yeah. that they commit themselves and dedicate themselves to uh, in, their, in yeah. their loving and professional way. Yes. Caring professional uh, uh, experts yeah. at, at doing what they do unfortunately managed by utter buffoons uh, and yes mr or mrs or miss ms uh, buffoon, <laughs> buffoon <laughs> i'm, talking, I'm to you. talking to you Crack now it. if you've got a problem with that why don't you phone yeah why don't you get in contact <laughs> yeah, with yeah. Us? we'll give you our contact details yes. in oh, the they, course well, of you, this you, show you know, we'll be giving those out and um, get in touch get in contact, Do get in touch. setting that to one side Yep. What an amazing... I'm sorry, I just went on my soapbox. No, that's okay. What, what, what's the view like from your high horse? Uh, it, it's great looking <laughs> down on all you plebs. It really is. <laughs> but what an amazing country we live in. That we have free healthcare. That part of this country is the provision of free healthcare. Alhamdulillah. And I can't help but think, how Islamic is that? Alhamdulillah. How Islamic is that? It is. The but you know, it's like, it's like the, 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 uh, the Sheikh said that we've been working with re yes. recently. Yeah. And he said he comes to this country and yeah. he, his mouth agape. He, yeah. can't he can't believe what he's seeing. Yeah. Because he sees core British values. Yes. He sees the way that we talk to each other. Yes. The, the way that we interact we with each other. The way that we interact. Love that. The, yeah. the, way that, uh, the way that we respect one another. Yes. Uh, very, very the way that we communicate the well, rules that the, we have in place, the, the business, rights that business people have, ethics. business ethics, and the, the yeah the rights that we yeah. have, the, the the rules of which society. we all take for granted. Absolutely, it's not enforced. But what he said very interestingly yeah. was that this is Islam. Yes, he said he looks around, he sees Islam everywhere. Not that many Muslims, but he sees Islam. Absolutely. Everywhere. And, and then he thought, goes home to his home country, yeah. which we will not disclose not what it yeah. is. So he goes back to Saudi yeah. and <laughs> says that he sees Muslims everywhere, yeah. but no Islam. But not much Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Pamela, we are so lucky We're in so this lucky, country. and that's the fact. Because the we, number we, of people... You know what? We sh I, see, I still see Muslims battered yes that's what media. i was going to say that's what i, I see muslims battered yep. and bruised by what yes. happens in the media yes because and it started again this you know oh, it's it started never. again recently never. because some idiot has been released from jail right yeah and he and he, he, he used to give speeches outside oh, mosque and right. he served half his sentence and it's time for him to be released okay been released on license and yeah uh, it's all sorts of conditions, and uh, he's going to be under surveillance 24-7 yep. for the next two years, and it's going to cost about three million quid, etc. Et so the country's up in arms. So, yep. you know, it, it's, it, it's a, again, an anti-Muslim sentiment Rhetoric. and slant yes. That's, yes. that's out of there in mainstream media, yes. which is terrible. And I'm not surprised that f people feel battered and bruised, yeah. but people need to pick themselves up, yep. dust themselves off, and realise how proud they yes, should be. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, how <clears throat> proud they should be to be Muslim. And so many times we are told... Oh, am I back up there? No, so, I'm going to join you. I'm going to join you. <laughs> join me Room on the horse for two. <laughs> um, 
Oh no, shouldn't be quoting him. What my? I don't know. Shouldn't no, be quoting not. him, should we? Don't should we? Oh dear. Do you know what it is yet? <laughs> Ooh, stay away. Oh, stay away. Um, but if <laughs> it ruined my childhood, <laughs> I loved him as a kid. I, I loved brilliant. him. Mm. Loved him. Uh, but if you consider. Thank you. Uh, we are told. I like time, Jimmy Savile as well. Uh, That's a different story. We are told time after time. <laughs> I, 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 grew, after time. I grew up with the music of Gary Glitter. Yes. <laughs> oh, these oh, people. Oh. What happened? Cockney rhyming slang. Survived it. So if we think, um, <laughs> the we are told. <laughs> We are told <laughs> time after time. Did you just actually say time that? Fence sitter. <laughs> it means fence sitter, doesn't it? We are told <laughs> time after time after time that Islamic mm. values yep. and great British values yeah, are yeah. in conflict. No, we're not. I know, but we're told. But they're not. We're to told, told but they're by not. Who? The told whole by who? point is. Muslim haters is what we're told. And by. That's what I'm trying to say. Ah. The whole point is. British values are Islamic. Yes, they are. They are absolutely hand in yes, hand. They there are, are some so-called Islamic countries that I nearly said would die for our values. No, that's not. No, <laughs> no that's that, would, not. that would be thrilled with our values. Yep. If they had our value system in place, they would yep. say, "Look at us. We are the best Islamic." I nearly said Islamic State. This is not working this morning, is it? This is not working. <laughs> they would say, this is the best form of Islam. We should be proud of the country we live in. Yep. We should be proud to be Muslim. Yep. And we should be proud of the fact that the values in this country are fundamentally Islamic. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Stand up. Be proud. Be proud of who you are, what you are. Be proud of this beautiful religion. Mm -hmm. Be proud to be a follower of this beautiful religion. And always Stand know up that it is counted. in line with your core values as a British Muslim. It is absolutely aligned with the values of being British. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, I'm just going to spend a bit of time climbing down from this high horse of mine. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I'm come a bit dizzy. I need to sit down, down to for it. a second. I, I, need some, I need some air. It's a bit, <laughs> there's not much air up here. It's a bit lofty. <laughs> I'm in lofty heights. Uh, I better climb down. So um, uh, just give me, give me a couple of minutes to climb down. So, uh, inshallah. Uh, back after this, inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> that list sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we start it? In a second. In okay. a second. Okay. Okay. Just, just before that. Yes. Right. Uh, I had my grandson round. Oh, brilliant. Yep. And uh, I've got to tell you this because <laughs> he's, his favourite thing is the trampoline in our garden. Right. We've got a 12 foot trampoline wow next to, next to the uh, next to the playhouse in yes. the garden yeah so he loves the playhouse yes yeah he loves going in there and role-playing <coughs> stuff yeah but he loves the trampoline as he would why would he not it's a 12 footer yeah how lost is he? on it is three it's three why he's three. would he not love the trampoline now he struggles with the letter j he does because his name for me is the cutest thing ever go on hmm uh, uh, he, he calls you Uncle Dunaid. And that is just the cutest thing ever. Okay, Uncle Dunaid. And he says, yeah, d d d <laughs> so, Uncle Dunaid. Uncle cutest du thing Uncle in the world. Uncle Dunaid. <laughs> Dunaid. Uncle it's Dunaid. Uncle Dunaid. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Alhamdulillah. Oh, brilliant. Well, the other day, he yep. announced, he announced, he said, Abu, because he calls me Abu. Which is lovely he as says, well. He says, Abu, I want to have a big dump on the trampoline. <laughs> I'm saying, whoa, 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 whoa. easy We need to be inside for that. Be inside. <laughs> <laughs> Big dump on the trampoline. I want to have a dump on the trampoline. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I was going to process this one. Bless Do you know what the, what the funniest thing? <laughs> what, 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 oh, yes, it's because he can't say Jays. Put him on, then we're like, oh, no, he can't do that. <laughs> 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 oh, what a big dump Christ on the trampoline. What a dump on the trampoline. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely priceless. Oh, I love him. Oh, Fantastic. golly, 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 Fantastic. golly, golly. Miss me laugh. So, uh, anyway, where, where were we? Uh, our <laughs> list, our <laughs> list. Uh, let me have a look, our list. We've got a list. Are we going to tick one off the list? We're going to, yeah, we don't very are often we, do we this. We're actually going to get to we're this list today. We're actually going to do one off the list Amazing. now. Because I'm looking at one and uh, it just made me giggle. It made me giggle. 
and it was it's all about sexist sandwiches okay right waitrose have got into a bit of trouble oh, apparently oh, i know i know <laughs> that was my thought what was it <clears throat> let me have a look what's the title again here we go here we go here we go waitrose forced to change name of sexist s sexist sandwich following complaints <sighs> are you ready okay are you ready <clears throat> when was the last time you popped into a high street supermarket hankering for a gender specific sandwich question mark um okay uh never actually you and i i'm guessing i'm guessing uh every oh no no it's not it's not right okay welcome back to that then so the answer is probably never which mm. is exactly what he said probably yeah. never but that didn't stop waitrose from labeling one of their sandwiches a gentleman's smoked chicken caesar roll <laughs> nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that. The role... In fact, do you know what? If that was halal, I'd probably go for that. Exactly! Because I am a gentleman. Exactly. <laughs> the little ladies can find something for themselves. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, oh, can you hear the phones? Can you hear the phones? Yes, exactly. Ring, ring, exactly. Ring, ring. Oh, now they're getting in touch. Oh. Now they're getting can you, in can touch. Can you hear that mob outside? <laughs> oh. The role, which is part of the Heston Blumenthal range, uh, at the chain contains gentleman's relish okay okay yeah so um an anchovy hence mayonnaise the hence the name hence the name an anchovy mayonnaise uh so there is some logic behind the name yeah but not when it comes to blinking people We've had this conversation many we times We have before. had this conversation many times. And I'm afraid I'm going to start thumping the desk. <laughs> yes. I'm afraid this yes. desk, this desk is already pitted. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is damaged. It is, it is. It's my, bruised. My chair's got a, got a groove in it just for work because I'm always sat there with my feet up. Your desk, your desk. It's got two grooves. Has got where my hands, <laughs> where my hands thump it. <laughs> oh. But these people, have they got nothing better to well, do? Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. So it is a what gentleman. Is it's called a gentleman's... The, uh, because it contains a relish, is, which is called gentleman's, gentleman's relish. relish. It's called the gentleman's... Yes. It's not saying it's just for gentlemen. No. Do you know what no. I mean? Uh, but what it got me thinking about was, you know, every, every Monday morning, yep. on our way in, yep. we used to go to uh, Asda... All the supermarkets, supermarkets are, are available. available. <clears throat> and we used to get our breakfast. Yeah. Uh, and then later on we'd nip out and we'd get our lunch. Well, first of all, we give salam to the, to we the young gentleman that's in there. We do. Uh, Absolutely uh, right. Stacking the shelves. Yeah. And we also have a good laugh. Yeah. We see, the, we see a flapping girl's on. young lady. Yeah. yeah. L little Miss Entertainment. With the, with the fleece uh, gilet on that yeah. says, happy to help. Yes. <laughs> and her face says she's anything says otherwise. otherwise. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now that we're in every day, we don't go in so much because we're, we're a little bit more prepared. That's but we used right. to go every single Monday yeah. morning. We used to go in. And what sandwich did we used to get? Oh well, you you. Well, uh, what did I? I always get. always get cheese and ploughman's yes. salad. Yes. Ploughman's salad. Ploughman's. Yeah. Ploughman's. That's right. Salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, am I now? Have I, I got to I, go in and ask for a cheese plough person's plough person's? S it sandwich. just doesn't, doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work. If you, if you look on the pickle aisle at the jars, yeah. what will you see? Hellman. You will see Ploughman's. Oh, Ploughman's pickle. Ploughman's pickle. You will see Hellman's. Hellman. Yeah, mayonnaise. exactly. Because there's, yeah. the there's, the, <laughs> the there's the old joke about you have to be very careful with sat -navs. You have to be very careful with sat -navs. Uh I was going back to the supermarket to. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was going back to the supermarket to return a jar of mayonnaise, end up in Elman Province. <laughs> <laughs> so, at what point, at what point, <laughs> at what point does this just become a little bit ridiculous? Oh, at the very first point. You know what I mean? Is, is when it so, becomes ridiculous. When they're saying... At the point where somebody says, ooh, that's got man in its name, yes, therefore I'm yeah. going to complain. You can't wouldn't. name that gentleman. Yeah, no, it's these named people, after these people, a relish. These people have got nothing in their lives. Yes. Nothing. These are sad people. Yes. With zero to do. Yes. 
And, it, and they pick on this just most utterly ludicrous yep. things. But what it also does... And complain about. Yep, what it also does is it highlights your ignorance. Okay. It actually highlights your ignorance. Yes. Because they're saying, you can't name that, that that's, that's, you can't say that sandwich is just for gentlemen. I'm not. It's no. named after a relish. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And the relish, <laughs> and the relish is called gentleman's relish. Yeah. Oh, well, they, well, they shouldn't... But they do. But they do. That's and whilst ever they do, that means... When I use it in that sandwich, it yes. is a gentleman's chicken and whatever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are we not allowed to call things French mustard? Because that's, that's not fair on other countries. They do make mustard in Belgium. Yeah. Well, we have English mustard. Oh, and I, w- I would crime. not want... I, would, I love English mustard on a steak. Love it. I haven't yeah. had it for 17 years. Because <laughs> you can't get can a good steak. To, I can take you to a steakhouse, but it isn't good steak. No, that's the thing. Yeah. Or it's a certain kind of steak. It's not yeah. a, what I would consider to be an old English steak. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Actually, and do you know what? It's coming back. Times are our changing. Times are changing. Yes. We saw that yep. the, the other week. We most certainly when, did. When we were at that thing. Yes. At, what was it? Emily. In Manchester. Emily. Mm, Muslim, uh, Muslim Lifestyle, lifestyle Expo. Expo. Yes. And there was a, 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 some guys there. Yeah, who got their their own, own slaughter. Uh, yeah, what's called they, it? they have a, their own abattoir. Abattoir. They have yeah. their own abattoir. And they, it is the they only... Found the animals. They found the animals well, they themselves. Don't. They work with local farmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and they, but it's the only truly Islamic... Um, halal? abattoir, halal okay. abattoir yeah. in this great British Isle of ours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not other people doing some meat and some halal. It's all halal produced yeah. and a phenomenal place and an incredibly and so they, successful place yes, as well. Absolutely, but, but it means that they have trained. And he said at that exhibition they had a uh, display stand. You know these guys that stand there doing what they yes, do? Yes, They've got a crowd around them. Yes. They had seats uh, what, uh, for, full of people, That's like right. 50 odd people, yeah. each demonstration watching this guy at yes. work. And he was a butcher. Yeah. And he was training butchers how to cut cuts of meat. Uh, uh, cuts of, uh, cuts which, of meat. subhanAllah, Because it, it is an, an art. It's, 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 it's a, a skill. skill. It's, it's a, a skill. trade. It's a trade. It's a trade. And... Rather than the traditional halal butchers that yes. we see on high street yes, in the them. country, bless them yes. because of what they do and, what, and the service to the community Absolutely. and the fact that I can eat meat because they exist Absolutely. and if they didn't do what they did, I wouldn't have meat to eat. Yes. But they don't really have the skills of butchers. They, do, they? do it in a certain they fashion, just should we say. hack it off the yeah, bone yes, and cut in it into chunks. You couldn't go in and say, can I have a ribeye steak? Uh, could I have? You could go in and say, "Can I have a lump steak? Can I have a rack of lamb, please?" Yeah, can I have a? It, it just it wouldn't. They wouldn't. They just go. They just go. Do you mean a load of uh, ribs? Do you mean I just chop? Do you want to just cut here? And no. Do you want that bit? No. 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 Uh, and so, and and those guys were saying that uh, there are no butchers. Well, th- th- or there might be just starting to be, but fundamentally, for an awful long time, there's been no butchers that can do halal, mm-hmm. and the guys that do halal aren't really butchers. That's right. Bio, you know, and I'm, I'm not right. trying to offend, I'm not trying to upset. No, it's a fact. Uh, and it's fact, and it's true. It's absolutely true. Uh, and so, you kind of go, ah, yes, yeah, okay, get that, get that, yes, get that, yes, get that, um, uh, get that. Uh, so, uh, yes, sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, do you know oh, why? Because, uh, I, because I put... I put you put something in front of me to read. <laughs> you put something in front of me to read and it put me off. It put me off. It's a night. I just can't do two things at once. You put something in front of me to read and it was only numbers. Oh, listeners, listeners. And, uh, if, you, if you ever come across Junaid, I mean, he talks a bit, does Junaid? Yes. And sometimes you think, oh, hang on a minute. How do I shut him up? How do I get away from this? How do I get away from this? <laughs> just put a number in front just of me. Just put a number in front of me. Just or, put anything. Just, anything written down. Just get a credit card and put it in anything, front of me. Anything written down. Just anything that entails me reading and I will shut up. Or feed me. Stops him dead. Or they'll feed me. All, all that does is, I know we choke. Well, I, I, I insist it, on talking and eating. Absolutely. And it gives you the energy just to talk a bit more. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I get a sugar rush. Oh, here we go. Um, but yeah, so they complain about this, 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 this salad. Uh, no, not this salad. Sandwich. This sandwich. sandwich. Sexist sandwich. Uh, but by complaining about the sandwich, you're just demonstrating your ignorance. Yes. It's a little bit like you know, in America, mm-hmm. their um, league for ignorance is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, basically. Yes, yeah. that and and uh, jeans with elasticated waists. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Uh, ah. But <laughs> <laughs> but there is a baseball oh, league. It's called the World Series. Yeah. And 
people from outside America go, oh, that's ridiculous, that's ridiculous. So are you saying you're the best in the world because you've won the World Series? Oh, how ridiculous. And there's only American teams competing it. Ridiculous. It's not really the World Series if there's only American teams yep. in it. It yep. should be the American. I, I, I have to say that I kind of agree with that logic. Ah, right. Do you <laughs> okay. know why it's called... Are you going to shout me down now? Yes, <laughs> I am! <laughs> Complaining about your gentleman's sandwich. <laughs> Do you know why it's called the World Series? Go on. It was sponsored by a newspaper called... The World. The World. <laughs> really? Yes! Subhanallah. So it would be like the Guardian series. Yeah. Or the Times series. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. It's the World. It was a newspaper that sponsored the thing, and so it was the World series. Yeah. <laughs> and people complain, <sighs> and all it does, I'm afraid, brother, is highlight their ignorance. <laughs> what, a <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. Oh, it's coming at me. It's mine coming. <laughs> takes no highlighting. Mine is clear as day. <laughs> Plain for all to see. Oh dear! <laughs> I know, oh, I know nothing goodness. about anything. Oh, clear. So, yes, <laughs> ploughman's lunch, uh, I think, going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, it is. Can we keep, please, the gentleman's sandwich? Please. Can we keep the gentleman's Just leave sandwich? us alone. Yep. Okay, shall we uh, do some of this? Yep, back after this. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi. Wa barakatuh. Oh, it nearly caught me out again. I don't understand how this happens. Oh, dear. Here we are, though. Here we are. Here we are. Very, very good. Happy days. Very good. Happy days. You're going to love this next one. I love them all. You're... <laughs> okay, then this one was made for you. Okay, right, cool. Would you agree? Most people who knew you now would not realise the kind of devil past you've lived they'd have no idea no idea i don't give it away no no i, I mean i don't I mean, have the look of no <laughs> action man you know, it's extraordinary <laughs> with eagle eyes and gripping hands <laughs> <laughs> a little scar down his cheek yeah um it's amazing that card in my back we pull the card pull the card it says yes. mortar attack dig in <laughs> 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 oh. My brother had that action, man. It was a talking really? action. Eagle eyes gripping hands. Oh, that. Yeah, had a thing on the back of its head when you... Yeah, move eagle eye, yeah. Move yeah. the thing from side, its eyes moved. Yes, yeah. yeah. And gripping hands, it actually gripped. Right. They, they were soft plastic hands. Yeah, yeah. So he had that one, and he had a load of uh, 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 different outfits for it, and yes. different military uniforms, and etc. Yeah. etc. Yeah. different uh, He just took your doll. It's not a doll! And I, it's an action man. I wanted an action man. Yeah. I wanted, but by then, my mum and dad, I mean... We, we were skint growing up. Yeah. We were skint. I knew what it was like to have nothing. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, I lived in a community, and all the neighbours we yeah. all knew because, like, you know, it was it was it was traditional in those days. The family was that uh, the dad went out to work, yeah. and the mum stopped at home and looked after the kids. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you had more than two kids, yeah, uh, things started getting a bit tight. Yeah. 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 Well, we had three in those days. Yeah. Yeah. And then another two came along. <laughs> so, yes. you know, well, well, I don't know where they came from. Yeah. I was a kid at the time. Yeah, I didn't know. I just oh, right. Oh, I've got fam another one. Oh, family's expanding. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Another one. Anyway, so I wanted an action man. Yeah. Couldn't afford it. Yeah. Yeah. So I got the next, I got, I got the cheaper version. Which was? You know, the, 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 General toy shops yeah. made toys, yeah. and then Woolworths had a equivalent toy really? named slightly differently in the same colour packaging and the right. same. So it, yeah. looked, it looked, it looked the part, yeah. but it just wasn't the wasn't thing. Wasn't the th yeah. wasn't the thing, and I got this kind of. Action man that wasn't actually right. Action I'm trying to man. Think what it would be called? I, I can't. Really, I, I have no idea. I was only <laughs> active like, man. I was like five at the yeah. time, active four, man. or even four. I was four or five at the time. Oh. But I got this thing. I was so excited. Yeah. Because it came with two uniforms as well. Wow. So I could I could change it yeah. out of one into another. Yeah. It was. It didn't have the eagle eyes. Right. It didn't talk. Yeah. Didn't have gripping hands. I was no. a bit disappointed. Yeah. Didn't because it couldn't hold its gun. Yeah. It couldn't hold anything. Yeah. But I, I was okay. And I made a parachute. 
Wow. Out of a carrier bag. Yep. Yeah, or a bin liner or whatever it was. Yeah. Some, some, some black plastic yep. and some string. I made it a parasite and I used to throw it out of the upstairs bedroom window. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it would land a parachute down yeah. and, and it would land it was it was unbroken yeah and I used to love this thing I loved it but then I thought mm, it needs more clothes right and of course they, they didn't sell any more clothes for this particular Not variety no uh, so I decided to use the clothes of my brother's action man right <laughs> unfortunately his was slightly bigger <laughs> So it, its clothes didn't fit. <laughs> yeah. And I remember thinking, I remember this to this day, bearing in mind I was only four or five years yes, old. Yes, yeah. And I remember <clears> thinking, <throat> it's all right, you'll grow into them. <laughs> <laughs> because having had hand me down what clothes, you've been told. having had hand me down clothes all my life, yeah. it's all right, you'll grow into it's it. All right, you'll grow into it. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that's all, perfect. That's you'll all grow I into knew. It. And even when they were buying stuff, you'll grow into that. Yeah. I'm not buying stuff that fits you. Absolutely. That would be ridiculous. Oh, that would be crazy. I'm going to buy stuff that <laughs> will fit. made of money. I'm going to buy stuff that will fit you in a year's yeah, time. Exactly. And, in, and in the meantime, roll the sleeves roll up. Roll the sleeves up. <laughs> but get a belt yep. and tighten it. Oh. Do you know, my mum and dad came over recently and they were chatting um, away. Chatting that, you away. You know, I'm convinced. I'm good. A lot of people say that, that that's character building and it made you a better person. Yes. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rubbish. Oh. It just made me want more. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. But mum and dad came over at the uh, 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 at the weekend. Yeah. And they were just chatting, chatting, chatting. Now my dad was six foot two. Yeah. He's a big Yeah, guy. yeah. He's a big guy. Met him? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a big guy. And he's one of those people where when you're a kid, you don't realise how intimidating that might be for other people. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So people would always say, God, your dad's massive, because he was a cop with a policeman. Yeah, yeah. So, well, like your dad, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, six foot two, policeman, and, and, and built. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and so people say, oh, yo, your dad, your dad's big, your dad's big, isn't he? your dad's big. And you go, is he? Because he's your dad. You, know, you just don't notice. You know? yeah. But anyway, we were chatting the weekend, chatting, and uh, uh, mum and dad got married. They were quite young. I mean, I think they were 18 when they got married. I say think, my dad was 18, my mum was just under, mm -hmm. so, and her mum wouldn't, because you, you could, you could, you could only get married if you're under 18 with your parents' consent. Yep. And my nanny and granddad, my mum's mum and dad, hadn't really taken to my dad. Okay. And it was extraordinary. <laughs> they had four daughters. Yeah. And they absolutely loved the husbands of two of them, yep. respective husbands, who turned out to be right horrible people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the two that they didn't really take to... Still married to this day. Years later, still married still to married. this day. Yeah. Still married yeah, to this day. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. what can you say? Nanny, not a good judge of character. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my nanny wouldn't sign this thing. Oh, God. So, my auntie Norma forged a signature. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's, that's as a side. So, they got married. Fantastic. Uh, and my mum started working when, when they had children. My mum started working in uh, a, 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 a school, college type thing, because it was term time only. It worked yep. with the kids all that. And she bumps into this, this woman and she went, duh, duh, duh. And she goes, oh, I went to such, such a school. And she went, oh, my husband used to go to that school. What year were you in? I was in that year. Oh, my husband was in that year. That's extraordinary. You probably know him. Oh, what's his name? John Miller. She went, oh, the short, fat one. What? And it transpires. And like, my dad says, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And mum says, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, my dad was always short and fat. Eh? I know. I'm like, what? What happened? And then... At literally, what, what did they feed him? Well, at, literally, at the age of 16, he did all his growing. Right. He did all his growing in one year. Wow. And went from short and fat to six foot two and, well, to be fair, initially rake like. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Where, when he was joining the police force, he was trying to put weight on. Yeah. He didn't think it'd be heavy enough. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, when mum met him, 18, is filled out. Six foot two. I, I always thought my dad, I still think my dad's a good looking chap, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm assuming my mum thought the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, and this woman went, Oh, but he was really short and fat. And my mum turned to him and went, Well, he's not now. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd see my dad 60 years later looking at me and just giving me a little wink as if to say, Yeah, you see, you see. And I thought that was brilliant. But he did Fantastic. all his growing in one year. Amazing. And so we're talking about that. And he went, it, 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 He's never been so embarrassed in all his life because 
he had trousers that his mum had bought for him yeah. that he would grow into. Yeah, yeah. And he grew into them inside a month. Half mast. But then it meant that the, yeah. the, the, the bits were turned down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there was the, the, the yeah. you know, the, the, the folded the telltale, seam. The telltale yeah. seam. The turn up. Yeah. And then he kept growing. <laughs> and they went to three quarter length trousers Savannah, and they didn't yeah. have any money to buy anymore. Oh, Savannah. And you just think, oh my goodness. Again, how lucky are we nowadays? Um, how lucky are your kids? How lucky are my kids? Kids don't you know, know they're born. They do not know the ball. Don't know the ball. I keep telling them. <laughs> I know, so do I. So do I. So do I. In my you know, day. But I, I use this phrase so often. We, we've all heard it oh, before. Oh, God, say it. I love it. I love yeah. it. By the time you realise your parents were always right, yeah. you have children who think you're always wrong <laughs> yeah i love it and and it's so that true. a fact it's yeah. so true so true so true crazy, crazy. oh my goodness so i introduced this because i was saying you had a bit of a daredevil daredevil uh, uh i was life. i was action man you were action without man. the scar uh, you, you reminded me though when you were saying about you got your action man yeah i wanted and i'm trying to think of his name who was the bloke who on a motorbike used to jump over buses Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. Yeah. Do you remember you used to get an Evil Knievel? Of course you did. Well, I wanted Evil Knievel. Yeah. I wanted Evil Knievel. I wanted to be well, I wanted Evil to, Knievel. Who didn't? Come on, he, he got was on a motorbike just great. and he jumped over buses. Yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, he, he, drum, he jumped through fire hoops. He jumped through fire hoops and he wore a outfits like Elvis. Yes. He had his white thing on and yeah. his white cape and tassels and, and the stars yeah. on it and all the tassels and his yeah. white helmet with the with the with the star spangled banner across who it. Who would amazing. not want to be that? Amazing. Yeah. And you got this uh, this um, evil can evil on his bike and you put him on his bike and you pulled it into that red thing. Do you remember? You put your hand yeah, on the top yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. wound it up. Yeah. And eventually it set off. Yeah. And on the adverts, you could make him do jumps. Yeah. You could make him do this. You make him do yeah, that. Yeah. Like, oh, I want one of them. I want one of them. And my mum and dad convinced me that children had accents and they'd lost fingers. And that's why I wasn't allowed one. Okay. I now know, because we couldn't afford one. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And then one of my cousins, uh, a month later, said, oh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's getting rid of his, uh, his evil Knievel. Do you think, do you think your lad is want it? Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So they brought it home. I said, aren't these dangerous? No, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So I, oh, I couldn't believe it. I, oh, I've got me evil wow. Knievel. I've got me evil Knievel. And then I found out why they were getting rid of it. <laughs> Put him in the thing. <laughs> Boom. And he veered off to the left. <laughs> Undeterred, he just set all his jumps up, veered off to the left. On the left, yes. He just took it into account. This is brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Wow. And I played with that and played with that. Oh, my goodness. I bet. Oh, I my bet. goodness. You know, so, the, the, day, the day did come in my... Uh, formative years yeah when I used to when I made my action man a parachute out of a carrier oh, you, bag and some said string yes, yes yeah yeah I was in the process of manufacturing my own parachute well that's where I jump was out going. of my bedroom window really oh yes really oh yes and people are thinking oh that's silly hang on about I'll just no. hang on just a second I was five you were five I could fly at that yes I, I, but then no, when you were 25 what did you jump out of <laughs> I know, I became a free fall skydiver. <laughs> you jumped out of planes! <laughs> it's one thing to yeah. jump out of your bedroom with you. You took a perfectly good plane. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were actually, you were actually safer jumping out of it than, try, than trying to land in <laughs> that thing. At least I'll land. At least I'll be alive when yeah. I land. Yeah, at least oh. I've got this on my back to save me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh no, this was a, this was a Cessna. No seats, no windows. Wow. Door was missing. Wow. And it used to just take 12 people up at a time wow. and you'd just fling yourself out of it. And you became a fully So much fun. Skydiving. Yeah. You did skydiving. Yeah. You did the motorcycle thing. I got banned. You did? You got banned from skydiving? Yep. How, what, what was the circumstances under which you got banned? Who banned you? My missus. <laughs> Why did she ban you? <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> Have we got... She speaks, speaks exactly like that. She right? sounds just like that. Too dangerous! <laughs> you, got, you got children. Have some sense of responsibility. Oh, sense of responsibility. So what did I become? Uh, a, a diver. Yes. It's actually more dangerous it's than skydiving if you did, but no, it's but she dangerous. didn't know that. Oh, oh, were we built to fly? Gonna... No. Oh. Yusuf goes up in a plane and jumps out of it. Were we built to go underwater? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf gets to go underwater. Brilliant. So you I would can, love I this can, one. I can go down. Yeah, I yep. can go down 20 metres, wow. drag you up whilst sharing an oxygen, uh, <gasps> a, a, a mask, Wow! get you to the surface, resuscitate you, 
and get you to shore. Oh my goodness! I could do that. That is amazing. I could do that. That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. I can do is... that without getting the bends. Really? Yeah. You're sure because I'd be fighting you for the oxygen thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you mean if I was actually uh, uh, <coughs> you know, willing to be resuscitated, yeah, yeah. willing to be saved? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Subhanallah. Right, so you so, are going to love on, this then. one. I'm going to love this one. Well, if I open with NASA astronaut, oh, I want to be there. Excited. I know. I'm there already. <laughs> I know. You're already excited. <laughs> Can I go into space, please? I know you want to. I know you want to. Get ready. NASA astronaut reveals instant, it puts in quotes, 34 minute hell ride okay. from space. Oh. as failed ISS capsule plummeted back to Earth. Oh. So I'm imagining, you know when you're on a roller coaster, yeah. and the best bit is when it does that first drop or that big yep. drop, and your tummy goes right up into yep. your chest, and you're like, Whoa! 34 minutes that landed. Do you know what I say? Do you know what I say when, when you go over the top? Uh, you, the, the big one in, in Alton Towers, I can't remember what it's called now. But you, you the go the tooth chipper. You actually go down underground. Yeah. It, it, oh, it's massive. yes. What's it called? Uh, uh, Armageddon or something. something so, like something like that. that. Yeah. Just over the the brow of that 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 uh, the the uh, just over the peak. Yeah. At the top, just as you're about to go, just as you set off, and it accelerates at a rate that you cannot believe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I said, Allah Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> Kept it going for about 40 seconds. Brilliant. I didn't know I had big enough lungs to do that. Brilliant. That fantastic. What you should have said was, hello, I back and held up a bolt. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, what's he done? Uh, <laughs> what's he done now? What's he done? Oh, yeah. 34 minutes well, free fall. Like, like another 100 people got off that ride. I didn't know what had frightened them the most. <laughs> the ride itself yeah. or me shouting hello. Or oh, you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, NASA astronaut Nick Hague has spoken out about the terrifying experience. Wow. Right? But you would have loved it. I would have loved week, it. Last week, the world watched in terror as two astronauts plummeted back to Earth uh, inside a Soyuz capsule following a failed rocket launch. Uh, NASA astronaut Nick Hague and wow. Russian cosmonaut Alexei of Ch Chinin, which is, by the way, one of the coolest <coughs> names ever. Off and on and off. Yeah, yes, yeah. We're forced to return to Earth in ballistic mode. Wow. <laughs> Everything oh. about this sounds exciting. Oh. What mode were we in? Ballistic mode. Oh. <laughs> we have an amber setting, we have a red setting, you know, we have a black setting, and then we have ballistic, ballistic mode. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's do full ballistic. <laughs> Uh, instead of making the journey to the International Space Station as planned. There's uh, a thing now, called terminal velocity. Yeah, go on. That's... But you're actually able to get beyond that. You if are. you're powered? Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Uh, but if you're coming in from atmosphere... Right. Well, yeah. Yeah, then it, it's just uber-powered. Yeah, and that, that's why things burn up uh, coming through the atmosphere, because really? it's going so fast. Really? I thought it was because they were coming into the atmosphere. It's going so fast. And the friction of the air no. causes it to heat up, and that's what that's what it's a friction burn that you get wow. when you're coming back through the atmosphere. So it is oh, it is ballistic. It's the speed it is that you're going at. Yeah, it's ballistic. That's amazing. It's unbelievable. And then things slow down when you get through the atmosphere and you start coming down Into, to earth. Oh but wow! But they don't slow down. That was not enough. You've got the velocity. You've yes. got you've got that, that yes. going behind you. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. My goodness. So. In my humble opinion, everything about that, he's saying it was terrifying, sounds brilliant. Yeah, I want some of that. The first thing I really noticed was being shaken pretty violently, side to side. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. Um, what does he, what's he, what's he <laughs> say next? It shows all these pictures. This shaking along with flashing energy lights. Great! <laughs> <laughs> so it's fast. Well, Signal to the astronauts that something was seriously wrong. Okay, that might be a little bit scary. It might be a little bit scary. Houston, but while we have a problem. But while, <laughs> <laughs> but while Ov Ovichin had experience from previous launches, this was Haig's first time. So Ovichin's like, ah, oh, oh, just enjoy it, just yeah. enjoy it, kid. This is brilliant. Yeah, it's yeah. meant to do this. 
He said, everything was new for me. It was my first time. He was able to tell me what was normal and what was not normal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He compared the experience to being in a ball as it, as it was thrown into the air. Yeah, yep. you get that. My eyes were looking out the window, trying to gauge exactly where we were going to be. Uh, where we were going to end up landing, where we were going to end up landing in water, where we were going to end up on the steps of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Did we make it far enough uh, downrange that we were in hillier, more mountainous terrain? Wow. I don't know if that's better or worse, because you, you don't have to travel quite as far if you're a mountain, do you? <laughs> <laughs> People and, do to come and get you. Oh, oh <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Join the descent back to Earth. The Astros experienced extreme G forces, which do. made a breath taking, uh, which made breathing a struggle. Yep. Uh, are you ready for this? Go are on. You ready? <laughs> Go on. Mr. Haig said, We needed to be prepared to endure the seven G's. Oh. Seven G's that oh. we were going to experience. I actually thought beyond five or six, it was potentially it's fatal. Yeah. yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. That is. In total, the landing took 30... It says just 34 minutes. I'll bet that was 34 <laughs> minutes. 33 minutes longer than he wanted. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Haig described it as a pretty pretty quick instant. <laughs> 34 Whoa. minutes. Oh, he added, the, the first moment I was able to take a deep breath in this whole ordeal was after we came to a skidding stop in our uh, capsule. Most My have window done was free about falling. 12 inches from the dirt. Most have done free falling is one minute. Wow. That's a long time. I can well start, imagine. Start counting. If we, I'm saying, if we went silent for a minute now, we'd get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> if we carry on like this. Yes. <laughs> well, yes, true. It's a foregone conclusion. It's a foregone conclusion. We're no longer, we're just stating facts. It's just well. a matter of fact. Uh, but I have had the uh, pleasure of going to uh, 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 America. Pleasure to go to Florida. Yep. I've had the pleasure of going to Disney. Yep. And I've had the pleasure of going on the Hollywood Tower of Terror, which is where you're on, supposedly on a lift and it drops you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. That's, and, he, and that was for seconds. <laughs> yeah. You've done it for a minute. Yeah. 34 minutes. Amazing. I have to say, surely the best ride ever. Of your life. <laughs> of your life. <laughs> yep, I'd love some of that. Yep. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. Brilliant. Right, so shall we do some of this instead? I think we should.